Hi everyone. In this problem, I am going to walk you through preparing the retained earnings presentation. So let's check it out. Below is information taken from the adjusted trial balance of Tiger Core for the year ended December 31, 2019. Prepare Tiger Core's presentation of retained earnings. Remember, the retained earnings presentation is actually a, a column or a row that is contained within the larger statement of shareholders' equity. Often accounting textbooks refer to this as its own statement. They call it the statement of retained earnings, even though that's not entirely true to life. Um, just to point out to help you so you don't miss anything when you're trying to work this out. Um, it says that this information has been taken from the adjusted trial balance of the company. If you're not familiar with an adjusted trial balance, um, that is just a collection of usually the ending balance in your company's accounts. But there is one exception to that, and that is retained earnings. On the adjusted trial balance, retained earnings is the beginning balance. Everything else is an ending balance. So. Um, I believe that is all of the uh, advanced information you need to solve this problem. Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can prepare um, the presentation of retained earnings. And um, when you're done, unpause and I will walk you through the solution. All right, welcome back. So um, just like any other financial statement type problem, I like to get organized before I start these. Every financial statement has a header on it. so company name, in this case, Tiger Core, and then the financial statement name. Now, um, you know, in, in real life, this is going to be a component of the statement of shareholders' equity, although, as I've told you, in textbooks, um, they'll treat this like it's its own statement, and they'll call it the statement of retained earnings, so however you want to do it. Um, and then, of course, there's um, period of time or moment in time. And this is going to cover the activity for the period of time because we're going to go from beginning retained earnings to ending retained earnings. And we're showing what happened over the course of the period. And so I'm going to put um, period, ended, uh, and then what are we? December 31, 19. All right, so there's my header. And this one I'm going to do a little bit different than I tend to do other financial statements because other statements I tend to go through and try to identify all the accounts and so forth and so on. But since this is not a full-fledged financial statement, it's really just a mathematical calculation, I'm going to go ahead and lay out what that calculation should look like. That way I know what I'm trying to identify from my list of information on the left. So the retained earnings presentation starts off with your beginning retained earnings. Now this is um, for the year ended December 31, 2019. So what this means is that your beginning retained earnings of 70,000 uh, came from January uh, 1 of 2019. And we know from our information over here that that was 70,000. So I'm just gonna go ahead and enter that number now. Now, after that, you are going to add to this the net income from the period. So net income. And I'm going to put over here just, um, I, I, I'm going to put it in, in red for now. We're going to delete this when we're done, but just so we can follow along with the math. You typically add net income. And if we look at our list here, um, there is nothing in this list that says net income. So that's going to be a number that's going to require a little work on our part. Um, you subtract any dividends that were paid. So minus dividends. And if we look in our list on the left over here, we see that there is a dividend payable for $10,000. So there must have been dividends of $10,000 during the period. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. And then that is going to equal your ending retained earnings or your retained earnings at 12.31.19. Okay? So this is the setup of the um, uh, uh, retained earnings presentation. It's basically a mathematical formula, all right? And I'll even put our uh, summation line there. So the only piece we're really missing, because we've, we've used the retained earnings beginning, 70,000, we, we knew the dividends because it was given to us, we're missing net income. And so we're going to have to figure out what exactly was net income. If we had an income statement, we could just grab it from there. But we don't have an income statement. However, we can essentially reproduce what would be on an income statement by identifying our revenues and our expenses and taking the difference. So let's go over to our information on the left. We have service revenue, so that is a revenue, so we're going to need it. Accounts payable is a liability on the balance sheet. We can ignore that. 
rent expense, that's an expense, we're gonna need it. We've used dividends already. Um, buildings is PP&E on the balance sheet, we can ignore that. Equipment, that's on the balance sheet, we can ignore that. Utilities expense, so there's an expense we're gonna need. Interest expense, there's another expense we're gonna need. Common stock, all stock goes in the shareholders equity section of the balance sheet, we can ignore that. Notes payable, liability on the balance sheet, ignore that. And finally, cash and asset on the balance sheet, we can ignore that. So we have one revenue, three expenses. We need to calculate net income. We simply do the math on this. So I'm gonna get my calculator out. We've got 55,000 in revenue, minus 8,000 in expenses, minus 22,000 in expenses, minus another 3,000 in expenses. That gives us net income of $22,000, which I will now enter over here. Um, so remember, that is just the add the revenue, subtract the expense, subtract the expense, subtract the expense. That's how we came up with our $22,000. And then now at this point, I can go ahead and finalize my statement over here. So I've got my $70,000 plus my twenty two. dollars That puts me at $92,000 minus my ten dollars for dividends. And that's going to put my ending balance at $82,000. And now I'm just going to go ahead and polish this statement up just a bit. Remember, in the actual presentation of the financials, it is not gonna be a mathematical formula, even though that's what's going on. So I'm going to delete my math notation over here on the left. And instead, all I'm gonna do is for this dividends number, I'm gonna add parentheses around it because those parentheses indicate you subtract that number. And now this is how my presentation will actually look. I'll have a header, that header for the entire statement of shareholders equity, and within that, the beginning retained earnings, net income, negative for the dividends, and then finally your ending retained earnings of 82,000. All right, that was it. Hopefully you found that helpful and I hope you join me for another video.